Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the VPN error message 609 that you are experiencing on your Windows computer. And it says that a device type was specified that does not exist. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in services. Best match should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to scroll down and locate the Remote Access Connection Manager service. So again, the Remote Access Management service. And right here, go ahead and double click on it. And you want to go ahead, if it's stopped, you want to start it. And if it's currently running, I'd recommend turning it off and then turning it back on again. And startup type, I recommend setting that at manual, as you see in my case here. And then select apply and OK. And then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem, guys. One further thing we can attempt, close out of there. Open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match. Should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to go ahead and type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, exactly how you see it on my screen here. Hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Next thing you want to do is type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to a forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should go back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart the computer. And there you go, guys. So hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.